Hi geeks, welcome to my channel. Please excuse my voice, I'm still a little under the weather, but still wanted to share with you what items came in from last week and this week at Trader Joe's. There are so many new arrivals that came in, plus the Valentine's Day items are finally here. Also, stay tuned until the end of the video for a grocery haul, reviews, and some more cool things. So let's not waste any more time and see what there is to discover. Look at these cute animal planters with different types of succulents in them. You can choose either an elephant, a giraffe, or a rhinoceros. There was no price label on this, but I'm guessing it's like around $6. And then also there is this bulb garden in a terracotta pot for $8.99 and lovely assorted blooms for $3.99. Now the spring flowers are starting to arrive, tulips for $5.99, daffodils for $3.99, and there's still some assorted foliage for $7.99, and these cute succulent arrangements for $5.99, calendivas for $7.99, and gearing up for Lunar New Year, the yellow mums have arrived. They're such a bright, pretty yellow color, and then it comes with like a little red envelope, and then this is $5.99. And then we have Mascari in a clay pot for $11.99. If any of you guys know what this is, please let us know down in the comments. Also, the Cara Cara Naval Oranges are here. A two pound bag is $3.99. And then we also have some Blood Oranges and they are $2.99. We have some organic Fuji apples and they are only 89 cents each. Now let's move over to the freezer section and starting off with a very new item, the garlic shiitake green beans. Let's take a look at the nutrition facts. So the only thing that stands out is the sodium is a little high, probably due to the soy sauce and salt, but I haven't heard one negative review on this so far. So this might be a good one to try. And with any of the items that come with the sauce, I always try to use the leftover sauce and either add more veggies, tofu, or chicken as a quick marinade and this is $2.69 a bag. Now on to another new item. This is what everyone has been raving about, the jalapeno and cream cheese crispy wontons. These remind me of crab rangoons, which are essentially the same thing. Most people have said these aren't really spicy, but then there were a couple of people who told me that they were, so I guess it all just depends on your spice tolerance. For the most part, Trader Joe's spicy items really never end up being super spicy to me, except for a few items like the habanero hot sauce or like the frozen Thai green curry. And you could either use the oven or air fryer, and this is $4.99. The new Thai coconut pancakes have officially arrived. So these are described as crispy on the outside with a creamy coconut milky custard center that's mildly sweet and slightly salty. There's also little pieces of shredded taro inside. You can use the air fryer, which is what I recommend, or the microwave, and a box is $3.29. And stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll be sharing authentic Thai coconut pancakes, which I get from Los Angeles at a Thai dessert shop. Here's some frozen appetizers. The fried olive bites are a seasonal item and are still here. And so are the eggplant shells, which I heard are very salty. And then the emerald green insulated tote bag and bourbon vanilla bean paste came in last week, which we saw. But this aglio olio seasoning is new. I'm so excited that this is here because this is kind of hard to find. The last time I got this was at a specialty olive oil store in San Francisco in the Ferry Building and absolutely loved it. So I'll have to see how it compares to that. And this is $2.49. And the peanut butter baking chips are also new. You can add this to cookies or a chocolate cake. A friend of mine added this to her banana bread muffins, which look delicious. Or you can add it to your homemade granola, your own trail mix, or on top of ice cream or Greek yogurt. One tablespoon is 80 calories and seven grams of sugar, and a bag is $2.99. And the almond vanilla foaming hand soap, love that. And I always get so excited when smaller size treats come in. And these are a handful of tiny dark chocolate covered pretzels. They are only 99 cents. Stay tuned until the end of the video because I will be reviewing them. This would be like a good road trip snack or you know, something to take to the movies. And here is a seasonal item. The snacky clusters have returned. This is another polarizing item that people either love or hate. I personally didn't care for the flavor, but I really enjoyed the texture of them. And um, they have like a lot of crunchy gritty bits, but it mostly tasted like chocolate covered corn chips. I couldn't really taste the pretzel nuggets or the potato chips. And this is $3.99 a bag. My store doesn't have them yet, but everyone has been really excited to see the return of the spring rolls. One includes shrimp and the other one includes tofu and both come with a cashew dipping sauce which is thick and it used to come with a peanut sauce but I think they might have changed it because a lot of people have peanut allergies 
and this way more people can enjoy them but who knows the shrimp is $5.99 and tofu is $5.49 and these can be found in the refrigerated section and here's a sneak peek of a new item that's going to be arriving soon a black garlic cream cheese spread that's supposed to be tangy with black garlic flecks throughout and has an umami flavor that is subtly sweet and this is $2.79 also, the Calabrian Chili Spicy Pasta Sauce is back. This is $4.99. Please let us know down in the comments if you've tried this and let us know your thoughts, if it's good or not. The ingredients look pretty decent. Actually, I take that back. I see canola oil and sunflower oil. And I showed this in a previous video, but the new Rosatella Pasta Sauce is officially here. It's made with cream, Italian tomatoes, and Grana Padano cheese. This might be a good option to pair with the heart pasta for a Valentine's Day themed dinner, which would be so cute, although my store didn't get them in yet, and this is $3.99. And I also spotted the organic midnight mousse syrup. Not sure if this has become a year-round item or if it has just returned in time for Valentine's Day. I did try this, and just a heads up, this is more liquidy and runny instead of like a thicker syrup for $3.99. And my store finally restocked on the automatic dishwasher detergent packs. These come now in a new packaging and there's 20 single use packs that is free and clear of dyes and fragrances, which I love. I did pick this up, which you'll see in the end of the video in my grocery haul and I do have some thoughts on this. This is $4.99. And then my favorite chocolate croissant candles for $3.99. The citrus green tea crackling candle came in a week or two ago for $9.99. And also another seasonal candle. The rose candle is back just in time for Valentine's Day. And this is $3.99. And if you're not into scents, there is a fragrance-free body butter. This came out towards the end of last year. And this is plant-derived. And this is $5.49. Now moving over to the bakery section to look for new goodies. The brown sugar cardamom buns. So I've heard very different reviews on this item some say they taste basically like a brown sugar bun that's very sweet and they could barely taste the cardamom while others say this has a strong cardamom flavor which just goes to show you that we all have different taste buds so you're gonna have to decide for yourself and it is 440 calories for one bun and these are $4.99 a box also the heart-shaped chocolate mousse cake is back I love this cake it's basically a bigger size version of the mini size seasonal chocolate mousse cake so with a higher cake ratio than mousse filling whereas like the mini size cakes are the opposite where they have more mousse than cake you guys could totally make a valentine's day themed dinner or meal from trader joe's with like the italian heart pasta or the ravioli and then finish it off with a cake like this for $5.49 also the raspberry mousse cakes are back i really thought i would love these and was hoping for a tart raspberry filling to offset all the sweetness from the icing but everything was just too sweet for me but for those who don't like the chocolate mini mousse cakes this might be a good option for you for $3.99 the almond kringle is gone and now the pecan kringle is back and i'm so excited because it was today's sample i actually found it less sweet than the almond kringle which was surprising because i was really expecting like a sweet pecan pie flavor maybe it's because i had it at room temperature but not sure if you guys notice a lot of pastry items taste so much sweeter when they're warmed up also, this was a lot drier than I thought it was going to be, and I didn't have like a lot of that sticky, ooey-gooey molasses filling. But again, this could be because it was at room temperature. I really enjoyed this, and if I wasn't gearing up for Whole30, I would totally get it. So the protein smoothies, there is the vanilla almond spice chai and the banana and almond butter protein smoothie. And now there's a new chocolate almond protein smoothie with 23 grams of protein. This is made with an oat base and pea protein. So this has 18 grams of sugar with 17 of that being added. I wish this was sweetened with dates instead of sugar, but it probably would have bumped up the price. And this is $3.49. And I wanted to show you the power line of the juices. They have a green one and a purple one, but here's a sneak peek of a new item and it's the new power of seven red organic juice. It's supposed to be sweet and tart, has a subtle earthy flavor and contains organic strawberry and cranberry purees and organic hibiscus tea, a blend of organic beet, watermelon, elderberry and apple juices and this will be also $4.99. And the organic non-dairy soy beverage or milk, this is unsweetened, this has a new look. So this is still made out of two ingredients, water and organic soybeans, but the calories have gone up. I think the previous one was like 80 calories per serving and this is $2.29. Now let's get straight into the Valentine Day items. The jelly bean hearts are back. You guys, I'm not even a big candy person, but these are literally my favorite jelly beans I've ever tried. They're so soft 
and they're plump and they're juicy. I'll be showing this later on in the video if you guys wanna take a closer look at it. And these are $149. Also another returning favorite, the gummy X's and O's are back. I usually buy this as gifts for others and these sell out pretty quickly because last year when I circled back to get one for myself, a week later they were already gone. So grab them while you can. And just a reminder, Trader Joe's always uses either vegetable juice or fruit juices to color their food instead of using like the food dyes red 40 and this is 349 also the dark chocolate caramel hearts are back this was new last year love the size of these little bags i've said it before but we really need more small size treats like this these are cute little gifts to give teachers or your friends and these work out to be about 22 calories per heart which isn't bad for a little treat especially like after lunch or dinner and these are 199 i'll also be showing these at the end of the video too for a closer look and the mini heart cookies are back so the holiday dark chocolate stars the larger size one they have a regular shortbread cookie inside but these have a chocolate shortbread cookie inside so it's like a double dark chocolate cookie and these are $3.99 a box and also back are the Belgian chocolate hearts I've heard really good reviews on them they seem a little bit too sweet and milky for me so I think I will pass but these would make perfect cute gifts you could just throw a Valentine's Day card and give it to someone for $1.49 also back are the cache chocolate assortment and this comes in a red box and a pink box and I think they're exactly the same it's just a matter of which color you prefer to gift or keep for yourself and the nutrition facts are exactly the same and this is $6.99 and the adorable heart-shaped macarons are back the box includes eight pieces one flavor is vanilla cream with a strawberry center and the other one has a raspberry cream center they also sell this at Costco there's 25 pieces for $13.69 which I posted on my new Instagram account costco.geek if you guys want to follow along there and this is $5.49 also I spotted the peanut butter crispy rice bites I think these were seasonal they're 10 10 individually wrapped bites. This basically tastes like a Go Macro bar or a Luna bar to me. Like it's really crispy and chewy and like dense. So it's not like a Rice Krispie treat. It's more like compact. One bite is 100 calories and this is vegan and it's $3.99. Also the mini chocolate chip cookies, they are 99 cents. They basically taste like a mini sized Tate chocolate chip cookie to me because they're crispy and they're really thin. Now let's take a look at some ice cream. The strawberries and cream gelato is back. I tried this last year and I wasn't a fan I know a lot of people love it I was hoping for like a creamy gelato flavor but this really tasted almost like a diet ice cream to me it was like really light and almost like chewy which just reminded me they do have little chewy strawberry pieces in it the flavor was really nice I just didn't care for the texture and the lack of creaminess and this is $3.49 okay and now for the new items that everyone has been waiting for there is a new lip mask duo and it is a chocolate berry flavor so there is a chocolate lip mask and then a berry one how cute is that the I love TJ's both of them include shea butter coconut oil and vitamin C and the chocolate one has cocoa seed butter and the berry one has raspberry seed oil this is a dupe for the La Neige berries and choco kisses set and that's $26 at Sephora and this is only $7.99 and everyone was really excited about the Brazil nut body oil this came in the holiday gift set and now you can get a full-size bottle of it if you enjoyed it although some people have complained that the scent wasn't strong enough in the holiday gift set while other people raved about it so I don't know what I was surprised to find was that this comes in a glass bottle so it feels a little bit more upscale than if it were in a plastic bottle and this is $6.99 and another new item the Thai peanut sauce so I was thinking for those who are missing the peanut sauce for the spring rolls you could use this instead of the cashew dipping sauce and I was also thinking you can maybe thin this out with some hot water and make it a salad dressing for $2.79 also happy to know that this is vegan and dairy free here's another new Valentine's Valentine's Day item, the chocolatey dipping kit. This includes both milk chocolate and dark chocolate melting wafers and also two sprinkle packets. And here it gives you some ideas. You can dip some biscotti in it or any hard cracker like a graham cracker or animal cracker, butter waffle cookies, or obviously chocolate covered strawberries or chocolate covered bananas or raspberries. That will be fun. And then this box is $3.99. And I'm loving all the seasonal sprinkles that are coming out. They had one for the holidays and now there's one for Valentine's. It includes pink, white, and red, like different size hearts. So cute. Let us know what you guys are gonna be sprinkling this on top of. And this is one. $1.99 a bag. 
and then the trail mix crackers these aren't year-round at my store so I see them pop up and I just wanted to show you guys just in case you guys were missing them and so be on the lookout for them they are really delicious and actually one of my favorite crackers for $2.79 and the organic popcorn with organic extra virgin olive oil this was a sample it's actually been a while since I had them and so I was glad to revisit it and it was delicious I forgot how good these were and I think there's only three ingredients in it so I'm not really sure what the green specs are but they do taste a little herby and have even a little mild seasoning flavor to it and these are $2.79. Also don't forget that they have Valentine's Day cards and they're always 99 cents. So that's it for shopping this week. Let's get right into this week's haul. I had to pick up the Aglio Olio seasoning which is one of my favorite seasonings. Like I said this isn't super easy to find like at a regular supermarket and so of course I had to pick it up it says it's garlicky and spicy I have been putting it on everything and I mean literally everything on pasta and here I roasted up some chickpeas and then sprinkled it for some flavor and it is very garlicky slightly spicy and it is a little bit salty so you don't have to add any salt also this would be tasty if you sprinkle this into olive oil and use it as a dipping sauce for some bread or even on sandwiches so this isn't as good as the one that I got in San Francisco but um, it's good enough and and also the green goddess seasoning blend so I don't really I have so many seasonings that I never use but the one that I actually do find myself reaching for is the green goddess one and I usually use this on roasted potatoes or roasted veggies but it's just such a versatile seasoning it's so fresh tasting that it could really go well with a lot of things and then I picked up another ranch dressing because I'm almost finished the last bottle that I have and then before I actually lost my voice last week I started to feel slightly under the weather obviously and I picked this up for my future self and glad that I did because it really came in handy last week picked up cara cara oranges because I still had some sumos left over from Sam's Club and I didn't want to buy a big container of the grape tomatoes so I got this and this was the perfect size but they were really tart bananas always and then I picked up a shallot because I was going to try to make my own salad dressing but then I got sick and so I haven't used it yet and I wanted to show you the seasonal stickers that are out right now there's Valentine's Day stickers and then there's also these cute little vegetable avocado ones um, for the spring and just a reminder these are always free just ask your cashier when you check out at the register and then I picked up Italian parsley because I thought I would throw it into some soup or even smoothies just for some added greens and I ran out of bacon so I picked up another box there's 15 slices inside and they come out crispy all the time in the microwave for like 20-25 seconds and I picked up some brown sugar because I wanted to make chocolate chip cookies my neighbor made the best chocolate chip cookies and I wanted to try and follow her recipe and give it a shot and I was excited about the automatic dishwasher detergent packs because they are free of bleach and they're unscented and then I quickly realized that I got this years ago and I remember why I didn't like it this left a chalky white residue everywhere and I mean everywhere on all my glasses and so I think I might have hard water which might be the reason why it didn't rinse off that well and then I had to pick up another box of baking soda for baking and I picked up the new bourbon vanilla bean paste one of you guys asked me to review it and so I happily obliged and I used it initially to make French toast and this is how it came out and it had a really mild flavor when you cook it into food and that's the Trader Joe's uh, crispy bacon that I get so nothing remarkable about the French toast or maybe I just didn't add enough and some of you recommended to add this to coffee and it was delicious it really had a strong vanilla flavor but I couldn't really taste the bourbon but when I had this with black coffee I could really taste the strong bourbon flavor more than any other way that I had it and so I'm curious to use this in maybe my chocolate chip cookies that I'm going to make and then I picked up organic Fuji apples because they just looked good but they actually ended up being pretty soft which I was not happy about and then picked up a protein bar which is really more a chocolate bar for me and then I had to pick up the new um, tiny dark chocolate covered pretzels and you guys I was really disappointed in them and I should have known from the packaging because it's not like super airtight and sealed so the pretzel part tasted a little stale to me but in terms of the dark chocolate it tasted great and so these weren't a total miss but i probably wouldn't get it again and these are about like a size of a quarter so not too big and not too small 
Next time, I think I'll probably just get the bigger size bag of the dark chocolate covered pretzels because those are amazing. And also picked up chocolate chips because I realized I only have the peppermint baking chips from the holidays. And here are the dark chocolate caramel hearts. This bag is actually from last year. I still had some left and so they look exactly the same. They are bulbous and have like a waxy, shiny finish. And then this is the caramel to chocolate ratio. So these tasted pretty basic to me, like nothing remarkable. The caramel didn't really taste like caramel. It tasted more like toffee to me in terms of flavor, not texture. And I also had a bag of jelly bean hearts from last year. These are my favorites. I usually get two or three bags and have it throughout the year. They are so soft. They're juicy. They're plump. The pink one is my favorite. It's like a berry flavor. The red one's okay. And then the white one is a coconut flavor. Got my favorite wild skipjack tuna. This doesn't have a lot of excess liquid in it and it's more dry, so I like it. And then I got some turkey for sandwiches. So that's it for this week's Trader Joe's haul, but don't leave yet because we are going straight into my Aldi haul. So I went specifically there because last week the Cosmic Crisps, they were on sale. It was like a two pound bag for $1.99. So these apples are definitely crispy. They're not as sweet as MV apples and they're slightly tart. So it's like a mixture of like sweet and tart. And then I picked up strawberries. They just looked really good that day. And even though they're not in season, they actually tasted really good. And then I also picked up blueberries. I've been on a blueberry kick and I know that these aren't in season either, but they've been really sweet and just have a nice snap to it. They're not mushy. And usually I pick up my kale from Trader Joe's, but I was already at Aldi. And this is actually slightly a better deal. This is a 12 ounce bag, I think, and it's only 10 cents more than Trader Joe's. And Trader Joe's, I think, carries a 10 ounce bag. And then the uh, marinara pasta sauce, they are organic. They have really good ingredients and they're really low in calories. So I was pretty impressed. I mean, just take a look. There's no added sugar, everything's organic and there's no preservatives. And then right next to it, I also got the tomato and basil flavor. And every time I go to Aldi, I try to look for their bucatini, which I got last year and I haven't seen it since. And I think this is the same line that had the bucatini and it only has one ingredient, which is great, and it's a product of Italy, and um, that was pretty yummy. And then their tzatziki sauce with, with Greek yogurt, so it doesn't really taste like tzatziki, it tastes more like a cheesy dip, and I think it's because of the Parmesan that's in it. I like to add this to wraps or sandwiches, and then I picked up some bananas, and then picked up garlic. It was on sale for 88 cents, which was great. So that's it from Aldi's, but I also have another haul from Sam's Club. And I like to go to Sam's Club mostly for like my veggies and fruits because they're a lot cheaper than anywhere else. So I picked up a box of Sumo mandarins and then MV apples, of course. And I picked up some iceberg lettuce. I was thinking about making some BLTs. And then I picked up two heads of cauliflower because I like to just roast them up and have them throughout the week. So that's it from Sam's Club. And as promised, I am taking you guys to Thai town with me to check out this Thai dessert slash snack shop. There's so many goodies to choose from that it's almost overwhelming sometimes, but I wanna eventually try all of it. I'm a pretty adventurous eater, so I'm not picky and I'll try anything once. Um, these look like cookies with some kind of like fruit preserve in the middle and these look like seasoned nuts and cashews And then they also have like a Thai dried fruit. There's just so many different types of snacks to choose from There is this crispy cracker Which looks good and then this is really good the crispy flour This is like a cross between a cookie and a cracker. It's so yummy and then here is the refrigerated section they have crepe cakes and then they have different types of custard. They also have amazing dessert drinks with like different pieces of fruit in it and jellies. And then here are more desserts. And then this is really interesting. It's like shredded egg yolk shavings, but it's sweet. And then it's on top of like a plain sponge cake. And these were actually pretty good. I've tried them before. And then this I haven't tried. There's green mango and fresh guava that you can have in a dipping sauce. And then there's all these different types of sticky rice with either banana or taro in it, crispy little crepes. 
They also have banana, taro, and yam in this like crispy batter. And then now for the main event, the Thai coconut pancakes. So they are really fresh because they make them here every day. And six comes in a pack and they're kind of pricey. I think this was like six or seven dollars. So like almost a dollar a piece. So these look pretty identical to the Trader Joe's one, except for Trader Joe's, the pancakes, they're all connected together by a thin sheet. So you kind of have to tear it apart and get your pancake, which makes it really fun to eat, but not aesthetic as cute. In terms of texture, it kind of has like crispy edges and it's really soft and spongy. It has like a little bit of like bounciness to it. And on the inside, it has this smooth, slick, almost wet looking type of texture. And this one doesn't include shredded pieces of taro in it. In terms of flavor, it's slightly sweet and very coconutty and creamy and milky, but it's also slightly salty, which gives it a slightly umami flavor. These are both vegan and gluten-free, so that's definitely a plus. Here are a few more goodies, and then this is what I ended up buying. I brought some bread and snacks, and each time I go, I pick something new because there's so many items I wanna try. But this cookie or cracker I get every single time. It is so addicting, it is so crunchy. And then this is another one I've bought before. It's like a pancake or crepe roll-up, and it has has like this soft pandan filling inside. Pandan has like a coconut vanilla mild flavor. It's so yummy. And then this right here is sticky rice. It's wrapped in a banana leaf and inside it has either a banana or taro filling. And then here is the Thai coconut pancake. And then this is like little candies. It almost has like a tapioca, like starch base to it. And then there's different flavors. The texture is chewy and a little bouncy, almost kind of like a boba or mochi. And the yellow one is durian. The green one is pandan. And then the black one is black sesame. And this is one of my favorite things that I get every single time I go. I learned about it actually watching a YouTuber who eats these all the time. And so I went on a search to go find it. And it's pretty bouncy and you can like peel off the different layers. So the green layer is the pandan layer. And then the white one has like a coconut flavor to it. But again, it has the same like consistency of like a bouncy, chewy, like mochi or tapioca and then this is something i haven't seen before again it's probably pandan flavored because it's green and on the back side it has this like bready pancake texture i was expecting i was going to really like this one but it actually kind of tasted slightly savory and i was expecting something more sweet and then since i was in thai town i of course i had to get thai food and i ordered some takeout from a thai restaurant across from the shop and then here is spicy eggplant with tofu chicken and basil these were lunch specials, so it came with some rice. I also got some pad thai and then drunken noodles, which is one of my favorite Thai dishes. So that's it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until the next video, ciao guys.